So I want to have a little brief discussion about Jinder Mahal, the reigning WWE champion on SmackDown. When he won the title back on Sunday, the wrestling community really was split on this. A lot of people were laughing. Some people thought it was the worst thing ever. Some thought, well, let's give him a chance. So I wanted to give my thoughts here. Now, the video is going to pretty much outline this video here. This is my first wrestling video on this new channel I'm doing called World of Geekdom. So you can expect some stuff like this on here. And the thing about this video is I want to talk about why Jinder Mahal as champion is a bad idea. Now, I want to encourage everybody to listen to everything I have to say and understand that this is nothing against Raj Singh, the man, which is Jinder Mahal's real name. There's nothing against him at all. I have never had a problem with him whatsoever. Now, some people on Twitter, when I was talking about why it was a bad idea, they thought, why are you hating on Jinder? Why are you hating on Jinder? I'm not hating on Jinder. The situation with him being champion has nothing to do with Jinder. It's more about what Jinder represents, meaning why he was put in that position. So... First of all, the reason why Jinder Mahal was WWE champion is because WWE realizes that in India, they have a over a billion people in India, and it's a market that they feel they want to penetrate. WWE's been expanding a lot lately into Europe. They want to go into China, but they haven't been able to do that yet. Japan, and of course, India. So business-wise, I understand that aspect of him being the champion of them pushing an Indian star. Now understand, I've been following the business now for 25 years, actually 28 years since I was five, and I really got into the in-depth intricacies of the business, you know, I wanna say around my teen years, and a lot of you guys who know me from Geekdom 101 don't know that I was, you know, I've interviewed wrestlers, I've talked to trainers, I've been around the block in the business a few times, and so understand that where I'm coming from is, from a different perspective in that I understand the business, but I'm also still a fan, but I see things from different perspectives, including that of Vince McMahon himself. Not saying that I know the guy, but I, I've followed his life and his career and his the way he carries WWE to kind of understand where he's coming from. And again, if you have listened to my podcast, The Lucha Brothers Show, which I'll link down below, you know we've talked about this many times about how Vince McMahon thinks. So back to gender. They want to open up that market. Great Khali, whether or not you like him as a wrestler, he was a terrible wrestler. We all can agree with that. Just big and clunky. He was injured a lot of his WWE runs, so that's why. He had just shot knees. Uh, he's a huge star. He is a huge, huge star in India. Great Khali was worshipped over there. Now, the idea of them creating a regional star is, it makes sense. I mean, that there's nothing wrong with that, but the problem is that they chose Jinder Mahal. Now, again... The problem with Jinder Mahal being WWE Champion is that he has no credibility as a top heel. And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not that I have anything against Jinder, but there was something that I noticed in his match with Randy Orton that I want some of you guys to go back and kind of keep an eye on, and I'll get to that here in a minute. But the thing about Jinder is he has pretty much been, for lack of a better term, a jobber since the beginning of his run. And that's WWE's choice, not really his. I'm sure that he's living it up right now because he is the top guy on SmackDown. And no matter what, even though he's not the top guy on Raw like Lesnar, he has the WWE Championship. That's the belt that traces back to the beginning of the company. You see what I'm saying? That belt has way, way more lineage and a much, much, much deeper history than the Universal title. Even though the Universal title is the one that Lesnar has the big belt right now in the company, WWE title is an important belt and it's the belt. You know what I mean? And he's got it. The problem is you can't take a guy who has been a jabroni, who has not won, who's barely won a match. I believe the somebody said that he won five matches since coming back and make him the top guy on your brand. It doesn't work that way. The WWE has programmed its audience to view this guy as pretty much a jabroni, a joke. The dude was doing jobs to freaking Finn Balor on Raw literally weeks ago. The guy was involved in a comedy spot with a football player at WrestleMania. So it's one of those things where there's no credibility behind his title reign. Now, I know some people are going to say, well... He's a heel, he cheated, the Bollywood boys helped him out. And that's one way they try to get around this is by saying, well, he's cheating. And when you cheat, 
you know, a bad guy can cheat to win and it kind of makes it, you know, makes puts heat on him. The problem is that when you know the guy is a loser and has always been programmed as a loser and that the only way he can win anything is with the help of the Bollywood boys, that could work for a little while, but not when you are the champion. All the great heel champions have cheated, but they don't always cheat. And Jinder Mahal, to me, him being the champion is some of the worst timing ever because had they really thought about this ahead of time and slowly built him up and had him get some TV wins over guys like Sami Zayn, you know, guys that the fans actually care about, give this guy some momentum, you know what I mean, and then go from there, that would have been different. But the guy literally went from, literally, literally went from being a jobber, and I hate using that word, but that's the only word I can use. I know some guys get offended at that enhancement talent to now being the top guy. It does not work that way. I understand that WWE really wants to open up this India market, but this is some bad planning. Now, a few weeks ago on SmackDown, he got some mic time, and he blew it. Uh, I thought he blew it anyways. I don't think he has done a great job yet of really proving that he is a top guy, and it's not even his fault. That's the thing you got to understand. Nothing to do with gender the man. Also, uh, on SmackDown recently, they had the celebration, the Punjabi celebration. I thought he was much better in that. I thought that was fine. But the thing is this, okay? Jinder Mahal, the man, has pretty much come to work every week pretty much knowing he was going to lose. And it's, it's, a, it's a predetermined business, so it doesn't matter that much, but it does matter a little bit. And now he's getting this big chance, and I'm happy for him. But it's clear that he's not ready and I don't think the fans are ready either because what they've done by putting the belt on him if they, is they pretty much killed the credibility of the WWE title because this is the first time in history that a jobber, a legitimate guy who has never had a single push in the history of his run in this company is the champion, is the, the, the champion of the earth. He was in a comedy gimmick with Kali. He was in a comedy gimmick with 3MB. He's pretty much just been a curtain jerker, and now he's the top guy. You can't do that. I said it, if you watch Dragon Ball, I've said this before about how it's like Krillin killing Frieza on Namek. It's It breaks the narrative. There's no story here. There's no chase for Jinder Mahal. There's no actual story of him rising to the top. Because the thing is, you can't just go from level 1 to level 10, man. You've got to climb your way up slowly. And almost every guy that they've done that level 1 to level 10 shit has failed. The Miz failed as WWE Champion. Same thing with Jack Swagger. These guys were just not very good champions. And it's nothing against them. It's just you can't program your audience to view a guy a certain way and then all of a sudden flip it and then say, okay, well, he's going to be a top guy now. It doesn't work that way. You have to create like a journey or something that changes him that can give him the motivation to be the top heel. He won the five-way. I think it was a five-way or six-way on SmackDown. He is on his way, but that wasn't enough. And he's been given the ball now. He has to pick up this ball and run with it as best he can because Jinder may never get this chance ever again. And as a guy who is happy for people to make it, I hope he does make it. But the problem is that when you watch that match with Randy Orton, uh, watch it again, the one from the last paper from Backlash. He was out of place. His facials were a little weird. You could tell that he was not ready, and it's not his fault. I mean, this guy shows up at work one day, and they'd say, hey, guess what? We're giving you a push to a title shot. Hey, guess what? You might be champion. Like, I know the dude was probably smiling and happy because he's going to get a huge pay raise, and, you know, it's good for him. It's good for him, but understand that it's also, like, nerve-wracking. Like, can you imagine if your job was just to come in there and just, you know, work and then leave? Now you're going to be the champion, the top heel on SmackDown. That's what he is out of nowhere. I don't think he's ready yet. I'm not saying he will never be ready, and I'm not saying that he, you know, is a terrible wrestler. He's just not top guy material right now in May of 2017. It's one of those things where they pretty much threw him in the ocean and said, you know, sink or swim. That's pretty much what's going on with him. But the problem is that to me, I think pushing somebody based on ethnicity and not talent is a huge, huge problem in the modern era of wrestling. This worked back in the day because you had ethnic territories where you could push certain guys, Italians, Hispanics. This worked for a while, but 
the idea of this guy, Jinder Mahal, getting the push without any actual equity, without an actual journey, to me... Just it completely devalues the meaning of the championship. It completely makes it a joke. I mean, you've got again a dude who has zero momentum, has not won a match. There was some people telling me that he deserves to be champion. I don't understand this mentality because why? What has he done to deserve it? He comes in and he works his ass off. I'm sure, right? I'm not denying that, but so did the Brooklyn Brawler and Barry Horowitz and Sami Zayn. Why are they not champions? Because you can't put the belt on everybody just because they work hard. You have to put the belt on someone who you think is going to draw money. And they think Jinder's going to draw money for them in India. Maybe he will. Time will tell. I just think the idea of him being champion at the moment is a terrible, terrible timing. You can't take a jobber, a legitimate jabroni enhancement talent, no disrespect, but that's what he was portrayed as, a guy who could not win a single match, who was getting squashed, and all of a sudden try to make people believe that he's the WWE champion. I mean, it honestly tarnishes that championship. And if I sound like a mark, whatever. I've backed up my points. If you agree with me, great. If not, that's okay too. But I've pretty much told you every reason why this guy should not be champion. And if they were going to make him champion, I would have held off until later in the summer and given him more momentum going into his Randy Orton match. Because people were shocked, not because he's a heel, the thing is, people were shocked when he won, but it's not because he's a bad guy, because nobody believes in that anymore. Everybody knows that's a you know predetermined business. They were shocked because he's a freaking jabroni, and you can't put the belt on a jobber. Kali at least beat The Undertaker, had a undefeated streak for a little while, had legitimate wins over John Cena and shit, then he got the belt. Jinder Maul hasn't beat anybody, and it just doesn't make any sense. doesn't work anywhere in any story. It's a horrible narrative. And that's my opinion.